can't quite believe I'm saying this, but as you can tell by the title of the video, I have just been kicked out of the Grand Bazaar for having a camera. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back, or should I say welcome to a new country. Okay, I'm actually in Turkey. Yeah, this breathtakingness is incredible. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Turkey, still here in Istanbul. Day two of exploring. Gonna be checking out the Grand Bazaar today. Surprisingly feel quite awake this morning without any coffee. Maybe it's the Turkish coffee from the last video that I had yesterday, but I'm still gonna go and get some anyway. It's really quiet this morning on the streets. Sati here in Istanbul. Sati everywhere, so maybe everyone wakes up a bit later. I've been walking around for like a good half an hour now. Every cafe that says it is open isn't Starbucks, is, but I really don't want to be going there. So I managed to find somewhere for my morning coffee, and then interestingly, the dog tried to eat my microphone on the camera, which was an experience. Anyway, heading for some street food now by the Blue Mosque, something I had to try whilst I was here, and then heading on to the Grand Bazaar. Because online it says it doesn't open till 10 in the morning. It's near enough 10 now, but then I've read it opens at 8 as well, so I thought I'll go and get some food first. Thank you. every like 50 meters or so especially in this area you will find them street like food vendors and they either do like grilled sweet corn or what I had there which was I believe pronounced simit and it was very very nice definitely definitely gonna have it again Our first impressions, very, very easy to get lost in here. I've been walking around for like 30 minutes and I think I've already like left and then had to come back in four or five times. A lot of jewellery, clothes, souvenirs. It's really, really cool just to walk around and explore. Probably going to stay another hour or so just walking around and getting lost. I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but as you can tell by the title of the video, I have just been kicked out of the Grand Bazaar for having a camera. I'd literally been in like three, four, five times. You would have seen from the footage, and then I decided I'll basically show you later with the microphone on my camera. I sometimes can't take photos great because the wire at the back kind of stops me from getting to the viewfinder on the camera. So I actually took my microphone off, and then as I was going back in, the security said no camera. So I just thought literally there's so many people in here with cameras I'd literally I'd say everyone every 10 15 people someone had a camera the person before me even walked in with a camera so I just said okay whatever I'll put it in my bag I was only gonna take photos I'd already got the videos and then they called another security member over another and next minute there was four security members like literally around me telling me I can't go in because I have a professional camera whatever that means I literally seen someone with a Canon one DX mark too, which is like 10 times more expensive than my camera and yeah they just said the last thing they said to me is you're not allowed in the Grand Bazaar because you have a camera which I mean <laughs> I was about to go in as I said take some photos and then I was gonna go out the other side and get the metro to the other side of Europe to the Karakoy part they literally wouldn't even let me walk through I, I 
put my camera and my bag in front of them. That's why you would have just seen the clip of me get my camera back out now. I'm back in the Sunk Ahmed area and by the Blue Mosque because I wanted to literally go the other side of the Grand Bazaar and then one of the security members followed me for about 10 minutes until I was like well away from the Grand Bazaar because they obviously wanted to check I didn't go back in but I just I don't even know what to say like this weird part as well I said well if that's the rule of you can't have cameras and do I need to delete the footage and they even said no so I mean I don't really know what's just happened to be honest but needless to say I won't be going back as well I'm clearly not even allowed in anyway as I said heading to the other part of the European side I'm going to put this behind me now because it's annoyed me it's me off to be honest but it's one of those things I thought the area I was staying in was busy. Wow, this side of Europe, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it is absolutely amazing. But it's so, so busy, it's crazy. Absolutely amazing views back there over to the other side of the European side. I'm heading back towards Tass Taksim Square now. It's going to be busy once again. So I was going to do the recap for this video last night and I kind of wish I did now because it's very, very windy here today in Istanbul. It's currently the next morning. I went to the Liverpool Sporters Club last night to watch the Liverpool match. Had a few too many ales and it's just thought I'll do the recap video today. So after the little instant, shall we say, at the Grand Bazaar, I did finally figure the metro out and went over to the Karakoy side of the European side of Istanbul. Very, very nice area. As I was saying, you would have got clips of me talking yesterday, but everywhere was so, so busy. It's probably just as busy over here, but the streets are a lot more narrow over there, so it just feels like there's constantly crowds everywhere. As I said, very nice. Checked out the Galata Tower. Went to try and find apparently the best Turkish coffee in Istanbul, but it was so busy that you, there was a queue to get in, so I thought, I'll do that today. and then. We explored the busiest street in Istanbul, which yeah, you could tell from the second you stepped out onto the street how busy it was and made my way up to Taksim Square and then down to the front and got some nice shots over to this side of the European side with the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia. It was a very good day of exploring. The time went really quick. So literally when I got down to the front I realised it was already 5 o'clock and it was going dark and the football was starting. So good day of exploring I'm not gonna let what happened at the Grand Bazaar ruin my experience whatsoever because as I've said so many times on this trip already I have absolutely loved Turkey so provided nothing bizarre major happens yeah this trip is gonna go down as one of my best one of my favorite countries so far <laughs> 